Our next story. So, uh, the Dubai number plate auction raises 30.8 million dirhams, which I think is insane, but very standard for the Middle East in general. So, over the weekend, the 111th open auction for distinctive vehicle number plates held by the RTA raised a whopping 30.8 million dirhams. 90 fancy plate numbers were up for bidding this year's auction, um, comprising of two, three, four, and five digit numbers. So the most desired plate was O36, auctioned off for 2.64 million dirhams, followed by U66666 for 1.46 million. And then we had Z786 for 1.35 million dirhams. Um, Very standard for the Middle East. Yeah, standard. <laughs> like, the love for plate numbers or number plates is insane. Like, it's the same in Oman, it's the same in Kuwait, it's the same in Qatar. It's all across the region. Like, yeah. people would rather a nicer plate number or number plate than a nice car. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a social... Uh, like a stature, social stature, stature exactly, yeah. situation. Yeah, like a four-digit or like a cool, like... I mean, and if you have like three multiple cars with yeah. the same numbers and different yes. letters, that's just like... One for every child or something, or one for you, one for your spouse and whoever's next. That's the dream. What would... if that you can? That is the dream. If you can customize your number plate, what would it look like? Uh, Simi G? Oh my gosh. <laughs> have you watched High School Musical and Sharpay with her car? Um, I guess I remember it. Sharpay is the one that likes pink. Ashley Tisdale pink, yeah. yeah. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that one. What was your number plate? I think it was just like Sharpay and the SR something was a number instead of a letter from the Sharpay, but mm. it was just fab. Sharp A1. Uh, whatever. Whatever. It was Sharpay. But what would your customize? Just my last plate? name. Kindy? Yeah. Mm. It's very iconic. Kindy. I can see it now. Kindy iconic. Anyways, what would you get? That was so good! That was like as good as it can get for you. <laughs> like, you did a great job, thank you. Okay, whatever. What would you get? I don't know. Um, Flex like Simi G. That's Simi what you go enough. by, right? Like, that's what everyone calls you. I think we'd go for that one. Sim Sim? Sim Sim, no. That would remind me of you. Sim Sim's a spice also in Arabic. What oh, is it? Yeah. And it's also that... Oh, uh, anyway. So... <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's insane, like... The amount of money spent on number plates. Isn't it an investment, by the way? A car number totally, plates? 100%. Yeah. Like, in 10 years' time, someone's gonna want that exact number and are willing to pay whatever it takes. I think I probably wouldn't. Like, the numbers don't really mean much to me. If I could get it in my name, that I would do. But well, it is an investment, it's that, like real right? estate. You can't resell yeah, that if it's But it's a me thing. I'd want it for me. Like, I wouldn't want to sell my last name. No, but wouldn't you think of the future when getting a car number plate, if you had the option of getting your name and a yeah. really cool number that you can sell off later for like, you know, double the amount, wouldn't totally. you go for that? 100%. Yeah. yeah. If I had the option, I'd get my last name. But it is real estate. It, people will buy it for more than you bought it for. Mm, like, yeah. my brother got his first car. that he paid for on his own and everything and he got a plate number with it but then he got another car and felt obliged to get a different plate number you know yeah. so i don't know it's just like it's culture <laughs> that must feel nice getting a car with your own hard-earned money <clears throat> it is it must be an amazing cloud nine sense of achievement yeah good on people that do so